This conference will now be recorded. Thank you. I'd like to call the Community Development Authority, Authority meeting for Thursday, March 3rd to order. Roll call, please. Mayor Kodowski? Here. Chief Gabecki? Here. Jim Christensen? Here. Brian Vandekreek? Here. And Inky and Lucas Lucius and Paul are excused. Please stand for the pledge. Please remember the men and women we have throughout the world, especially right now with the conflict we've got going on. Okay, I need a motion to approve the agenda. I have no changes. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to approve the agenda as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Number 5A, Community Development Authority minutes to be approved from the regular meeting of January 4th, 2022. Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve those minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Number 6. Action item 6A, resolution authorizing the issuance of taxable lease revenue refunding bonds. Series 2022 Brown County Rest Center project. Approving the execution of related documents and certain other details. John Meehan, welcome to Ashwaubenon. Thank you, thank you very much. My pleasure to be here. What I've tried to do is to send uh, Brian and Jim a uh, brief handout to walk through, which hopefully you have in front of you as well, just to walk through the sale results and the action we're asking you to consider today. I presented back to the CDA maybe December 7th, something like that, it was, it was last year, uh, this financing. And um, since then, as we know, a lot has happened in the world, and it's been um, a pretty crazy time, both in the equity market and in the bond market. How it matters on this transaction is these bonds are taxable. They're taxable because it's part of the Rush Center, the management contract, it fails te uh, tax test, and so they have to be taxable bonds. Taxable bonds are already always priced against U.S. Treasuries. So, you know, I watch it more closely, of course, you know, every when these transactions are going on, as the Treasuries bounce up and down and everything that's happening, well, that's how the pricing takes place against those bouncing Treasuries. Let me just walk through the presentation. The overview, once again, we're talking about a 2012 bond issue that was issued by the CDA to refund some outstanding debt that was originally issued in 1999 for the Rush Center. And what we have is an opportunity, if you look on page one of the bond issue size that was issued in 2012, to refund the outstanding debt which matures from June 1 of 2023 through 2029. Once again, we go back to the 1990 issue, the debt was always a 30-year life. And so we're keeping it to the 30-year life. We're saying the final maturity is 2029. The callable portion is just under 16 million. The interest rate on the debt that's outstanding, that we're refunding, is 3.6 to 4.25. So that's the interest rate on the debt. And the call is June 1 of 2022. So we're taking steps now to put us in a position to call away these old bonds from their holders and to replace those interest rates with lower rates. On page two, just to give you a feel for, and this is on a calendar year basis for it's a bond year basis, not to get too much in the weeds, but just to get you a feel for how the net room taxes that are used to pay both the 1999 Rush Center bonds and the 1999 KI Convention Center bonds. Now, I know they have different years to them now, but those bonds, you see the net room taxes compared to what the annual debt service is. And what we found is over the past so many years, we've had a good run up in excess room tax revenue to debt service, and then COVID hit, and we had a drop off. But we were all able to work through the time period of the flow of revenues to make sure money was available to pay the debt service. 
And the way things are looking now, we're getting back on track as far as the room taxes available for debt service. Only the fact that would have won another home game. Going to page three, the Regency comments. And the, we have these bonds rated, as all the bonds have been rated, by Moody's Investor Service, and they rate the bonds off the Brown County bond rating. And Brown County is rated AAA. And that's because Brown County is the obligor. The CDA is the conduit. You get the bonds from here to the marketplace under your name, but the obligor, the ones to look at, look to, for any shortfall in the revenues to pay debt service would be the county. And that's why when Moody's assigns a bond rating, they say, well, who's the underlying obligor, Brown County, AAA? We notch it down because it's not a county GO issue. Like when the village issues GO debt. Well, this is a revenue issue, so it's always notched down. So not surprisingly, we got the AA2 rating. Moving forward on the financing results, just to talk about the refunding before and after, and then talk about the combined senior debt service. On page four, the debt that's being issued is 16275 A little bit different than what was posted for your board meeting, but that's because we had preliminary numbers in there. The day to date is April 1st, so that's when the funds will be transferred to Associated, Associated Bank as, acts as a trustee. They'll hold the money from April 1st until June 1st and pay off the holders of the 2012 bonds. They will send out the appropriate notices that have to go out 30 days before that funds are available to pay those holders. And um, until, you know, until that happens, they hold the cash and the little earnings that come off that stay in the bond fund. The maturities are 23 through 29, June 1st. As I said before, the 1990 issue was a 30 year issue. The 2012 issue goes out to 2029 and the 2022 issue to 29. We're not extending the debt. But we are replacing the interest rates that were 3.6 to 4.25 with interest rates 1.5 to 2.55. So we're lowering, lowering the interest rate on the debt. Because really we're talking about seven years remaining on the debt issue, these are non-callable. Not much life left in them. On page five, what we call the before and after page, on the left side of the page, we show where the debt is as of today. As I mentioned, interest rates got bless you 3.6 to 4.25. On the right side, after the refinancing, the um, the bonds that have a June 1, 22 payment, the funds are on hand and will make that debt service payment. So the 22 payment will be made. That what shows is the repayment that's still to be due. And then on the far right, when you compare the 2012 old bond debt service to the 2020 new debt service, you can see savings are 129, 126,000 per year. So not as high as we had talked back in December, but back in December, Russia had not invaded Ukraine. So a lot of different things have happened in the marketplace. On page six, we, we refer to this as the senior debt service that has access to the room tax funds. And it's the 2016, which was a refunding of the 1999 KI Convention Center bonds. And now these two, uh, 2022 CDA at Wabadon bonds that you see on the right side, the debt service is about 3.6 million. So what we've been able to do is to lower the debt service needs for the 20 for the, uh, the rush center bonds. And having a you know 3.6 million, the revenue flow is probably gonna be you know going forward in the $5 million range, which will allow for flows of room taxes to support the KI2, and then eventually the 2019 Expo bonds. So all this is doing is freeing up cash to be applied towards the other debt that's outstanding. What I've just covered here is included in the resolution which has been prepared by Bond Council Foley and Lardner and is on your agenda for consideration. I will be happy, uh, Madam President, to answer any questions the board may have. Okay, does anybody have any questions? 
comments. It's nice. It's nice to see those nice low low uh, interest rates, John. It is nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess one question would be: Is there fear that you know if this takes until June to be locked in and completed, that interest rates may spike? either as a result of economic conditions or the war in Ukraine at this moment? Uh, good question. Uh, a couple of comments. One is that the buyers, I would, I would describe as big boy buyers, you know, the, the, they understand what they put in orders for. And when this meeting is over, after you act, hopefully to approve it, I actually send a text that says the bonds have been awarded. So that they provided what they're willing to buy at what interest rates, you've agreed to it they're on board now the closing is until april 1st but the, the bonds are locked in the rate is locked in could somebody okay. could an investor walk away between then and now yeah but these are big boys you know they, they don't they don't do that because the next time you won't sell to them again if they don't stand up and meet their commitment the fact that it's now sold that the funds will be in the hands of the associate on april 1st between now and June first, doesn't matter. Cash is in hand. Okay. okay. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, could we have a motion then to approve the resolution? So moved. Okay. I'll second. second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve a resolution. Uh, we don't have a number yet um, for the bonds, the lease revenue refunding bonds for 2022 for $16,275,000. Any other concerns, questions, comments? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you all very much. Thank uh, you. I don't know if we'll have another CDA meeting for April. We'll let you know. Um, so I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Thanks you. Thank you everybody. This conference for, is no longer being recorded. Thank you. All right. Problem.